I've said it before and I'm bound to say it again. If you're gonna work for Amazon, your grade is everything. And I'm gonna share with you everything I've learned over this past year to ensure your Amazon grade does not drop for reasons outside of your control. Let's get after it. The first problem area I see people struggle with, myself included, is with arrival times. Now with Amazon, it's important to realize that there are three arrival times kind of going on at once. You've got your scheduled arrival time, which is the time that Amazon tells you to be there by. You then have your geofence arrival time, which is kind of saying, you know, when you get in close proximity to their property, it'll say like, okay, you, you arrived at this time. And then you have your actual check-in time, also known as your YMS, and that's when they check you in at the guard shack and kind of grant you entrance into their property. And of the three arrival times, I mean, sure, you know about the scheduled arrival time, but the only one that you can control is the geofence arrival time. Because what are you going to do when you show up early? But there's a 45 minute line of trucks ahead of you. How are you going to prove that you were there on time? I like to take a screen grab. Every time I go to a facility, I like to take that little screen grab of any time it comes up saying arrival successfully detected. Now, I know somebody might say, well, I can go to the load notes later on and get that same information. You can, but I've had sometimes some of those, it's never, it's never made any changes to my grade, but I've noticed where sometimes those are changed by like a minute or two, and I don't like that. I'd just rather have the screenshot, that way I'm in control of the evidence, and should I need to produce it, I have it readily available for every facility I go to. Another big issue I see people having, myself included, is with delays. Now, it's important to realize with Amazon, if you get to getting to that first site, that first stop on your on however many leg tour you're signed up for, that's your responsibility. Once you have Amazon's equipment hooked up to your tractor, if you go get in two, three hours worth of traffic, I've never seen or heard them marking down anybody for that. So you know, once you have their equipment and they see you're in traffic, they're not gonna mark you down for that. But you know, a lot of times getting to that first thing, something will come up that's like kind of unforeseen. I had this exact thing happen to me a couple weeks ago. I went out to do a trailer recovery out in Ocotillo. Now, I knew I could make it and I knew I left in plenty of time, but the thing I didn't account for was Interstate 8 East of Alpine was all under construction the whole way. They had it down to, they had it stopped in some places, had it down to a single lane and a lot of others. And it's like, man, I, I foresee this being a problem. So the first thing I start doing is I start grabbing screens of the GPS. So at like 12.11, they said I'd be there by 12.56, which was four minutes before my arrival time. I was cutting it close on this one. I don't like to do that very often. At 12.18, I had it, I had improved the GPS time, arrival time down to 12.55. So every time I improve that arrival, time I'm grabbing a screen of this 1222 I was supposed to arrive at 1254 and finally at 1227 I'd improve the arrival time down to 1253 I like to document that as I go just I'm not saying it would for sure work but that way at least I have a fighting chance to say like hey look at 1227 I followed your route and your route told me I'd be there by 1253 and maybe your route was bad. Now it just so happens that's the only route going out there. And again, I just, I kind of like to get screens whenever I see something happening like this, just so that I have a fighting chance. So the last thing I'm gonna cover in this is, you know, identifying when you feel like a load is going sideways. And once you've identified it, you know, what should you be documenting? And this happened to me the other day. I was, uh, you know, showed up in plenty of time, was like a 5.30 arrival time, scheduled for a 6.15 departure time, got there way ahead of time. Wasn't on my radar as far as, you know, going sideways until about 6, 6.05 in the morning. Uh, the reason was, is, you know, as I started thinking about that time, even if they tell me the trailer's ready right now, by the time I hook it up and safety inspect it, I'm not gonna leave here until 6.15 and they have me down as a 6.15 departure time. So this is where I kind of start feeling like, you know, kind of my spidey senses come on of like, I should start documenting stuff. So I go into the uh, to the app, I wanna be sure, you know, do they have my arrival time down? They had my arrival time down at 4.44 for a 5.30 arrival. I want a screen of that. I was kind of debating on, should I go to the guard check and find out, you know, what's going on with this load? Cause the relay app wasn't telling me anything. And on my way up to the guard shack at like 6.14, I get a notification that the trailer's ready. Now they're letting me know the trailer's ready one minute before I'm supposed to leave. I'm gonna want a screen of that too, just, you know, just to protect myself. So, you know, they tell me it's at Dr. 116. I head over there, I get there. The landing gear of the trailer is blocked by one of those yellow safety poles. I can't do anything. On, on my truck, 2016 Freightliner, I can lower my suspension. I cannot raise it. Don't quote me on this. I think Kenworths have the ability to raise the suspension. My truck doesn't have that as a, as a possibility. So my only option was to get in touch with the guard shack and say, hey, can you send a trailer hostler 
over to dock door 116 and pull this trailer out a couple feet so that I can hook it up and kind of, you know, manipulate the landing gear so that I can get it hooked up. Now, I know all this stuff's going to take time. As soon as I get in touch with, you know, the guard shack waiting on the trailer hostler, I send a message to ROC. 623, I send them a message saying, hey, look, I'm just letting you know what's going on. I just found out the trailer's ready. It's blocked. Uh, the yellow pole, I can't do anything. This load's obviously going to be late. Just here's what's going on. So trailer hostler comes over, gets the trailer pulled out for me. I get it all hooked up. I don't end up leaving there until 637. This is crazy. I don't know shit about f so the whole way up to Poway, I'm getting messages from ROC talking about, you know, you've got a late load, you've got four minutes to respond before escalation and all this stuff. And it's just kind of like, look, I've tried to be as proactive as I possibly can in letting you know what's going on. And sure enough, the next day, this counted as a late load against me. Now, I've never been more prepared for a dispute in my life. With the amount of evidence I collected, pictures, screens, everything like that, I disputed in real time. If you're not familiar with how to do a dispute in real time, Amazon recently changed that. Uh, there's link to a video I've made in the past that'll help you do it in real time. You don't have to wait for Sundays, but long story short, the dispute ends up going my way given the amount of evidence that I had to support my side. So look, loads like these are exceptionally rare. I would say that they represent less than 5% of the total work that I do with Amazon. The majority of the time I'm showing up an hour, hour and a half before, you know, the I'm supposed to be there and guess what the trailer's ready I get a jump on that first leg of the load and I'm a lot of times finishing up the entire load about the time the load is supposed to be starting in the first place so so these are these are definitely the exception not the rule but when you do have one of these show up it's important to kind of identify it and more importantly know how and what to document so that should you need to dispute it you have that information readily available to you I hope this video serves you well appreciate you for watching take care to keep in mind there's actually three there's people are gonna think i abuse you load is late um they weren't really having it and sure enough the next day watching my dog go crazy emails coming across saying lou could you be any noisier lou lou that's not helping me that, lou that's that's not helping me at all, Luke.